Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop for another action packed 10 minutes of bomber building action. Only place you can find 10 minutes of drama free bomber building action. You ain't gonna find it on Oprah. <laughs> For Dr. Phil. So get off of it. Get off Oprah. And you'll be alright. But Bill, I got your t shirt set off too, buddy. You'll be getting it soon. And B1B Man, your shirts are on the way. I threw a couple extra ones in there for you. If, uh, Y'all can't use them, give them to someone they'll fit. But man, people, I got lots of t-shirts. I don't care where you are on this planet. If you got an address, I'll send you a t-shirt. <laughs> Just gotta pay, at least pay the shipping. Be really nice if you could pay for the shirt too. Be super nice if you can throw some extra change on there. It all goes to good use. Trust me, I got a lot of money to spend. A lot. It's just never ending, you know? Just never ending. I'm going to take one of these little brushes and kind of go around. This stuff in here. Pick up some of that extra resin there. And that primer I put in them molds, that's still my urethane based primer, people. As soon as I, uh, see, because I bought a bunch of it last time I bought primer. And I want to use all that up before I go to the epoxy. You know, I might as well. I just sure can't afford to waste nothing in here, so. I'm going to go ahead and use up. I'm about out of the gray now, so. I'm going to have to go get some, but I'm going to use that uh, Nason that they sell at O'Reilly's. They sell a couple brands there, but there's not much of a price difference. So they suggested the good, the better brand. So I think that's what I'm going to do. But this stuff I'm using is just Transtar uh, Urethane Primer. I like the urethane primer, it actually has a hardener with it, it's not just an air dry primer, so that means it's not going to shrink as much, like your cheaper lacquer primer, and, uh, and uh, forbid you guys that still use that spray bomb stuff, shame, 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 <laughs> that spray bomb primer is no good, people, it's alright if you do it in little parts, in fact I even keep a can around the house for uh, you know just little wooden parts and my you know my wooden shelves I make and stuff like that. But that's about as far as the spray bombers go. Spray bombs <laughs> primer goes. And but your paint don't stick to it very well like when you're painting a model. You know? That's a, you know have you ever painted a model and went to tape it off for another color? And pulled your pulled your tape off, and bam! There come a bunch of paint. That's because uh, you use spray bombs. 
<laughs> That's what it is, people. Truth hurts. That's what that is. That's what does that. That's me how I know. I've tried that. Plus you think, well, man, it's just a little airplane. It'll probably be cheaper if I just, you know, you go buy a couple cans thinking that's going to get you. And then you use them two cans up and you got to go back and get some more. Then before you know it, them cans are gone and you, you got to go get some more. And before you know it, you could, it would have been cheaper to, you know, use a good primer. You know, go to the toy store. Oh yeah, Harbor Freight. Got paint guns for 15 bucks, man. That don't work half bad they work pretty good you know and you know you can buy quarts of that primer you don't have to buy a gallon you can buy a quart you know a quart do an airplane and so you'll end up spending more on the spray bombs than if you just would have went and got some good primer It'll show up in your paint jobs. That spray bomb stuff, lacquer primer shrinks. And, uh, just, I don't know. I don't like it. But anyway, I'm trucking on. But don't forget, people, I got t shirts. Out the yin yang. And I don't care where you live. I still have no t-shirts in the UK, I have no t-shirts in Germany, I have a couple of walking around there in Sweden, got a bunch of them walking around in Australia, <laughs> got one in, I got one in Spain, oh Josh is in Singapore wearing our t-shirt, he sports that thing with pride man, you can tell he puts on that t-shirt, he puffs that chest out a little bit. <laughs> rock Josh <laughs> I even had someone email me they uh, want to get to uh, send Josh to the maiden flight fund I said man maybe we ought to talk with Josh's parents first <laughs> Josh is only 16 I believe I don't know if his parents would go for that but you might ask him Josh I had a couple people talking about it getting the uh, Fun going to get Josh to the maiden flight. Wouldn't that be awesome? Shoot, brother, you can stay with me. My kids has grown up and moved out. You can just spend, come down here, spend a week. We'll go to the maiden flight. Go fly some jets. You never know. enough to kind of you know make this one a curl over then this glass wants to lift right here so it's better just to get her cut about as close as you can in marriage like that well that gum them 10 minutes is are going by fast so Tune in for some more Bob Building Bomber action, people, and go uh, go watch our interview from last night. Tell us what you think. Shall we keep going? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Then let, us, let us know what y'all think. You know? That just might turn out to be something. You know, I like old Dave. He's a nice guy. Easy to talk to. Did a good interview. But uh, tune in, people. Tune in for some more Bob TV. Same Bob time. Same Bob station. <laughs>